Hey everyone, today I'm going to show how you can deploy a Quarto portfolio website onto a GitHub page for free. So to start, we're going to need to create a GitHub repo, and in this instance we're going to call it Quarto Portfolio. So go to repositories, I'm going to say new, and then let's call it Quarto Portfolio. Let's say and we'll just add a readme and we'll create the repo there we go now that we have a repo we just need to build a website to do this we're going to use the project Corto, which is from posit formerly our studio and we're actually going to use the our studio ide and we're just going to paste all the documents that we build out of it into our github let me show you a Quarto project is just to make a new project in RStudio. So open up an RStudio IDE and go over here to the top to project, say new project. I'm going to say Quarto website, but as you can see, there's blog, books, and project options. And we will just call this what we called our GitHub repo, and we'll create the project. All right, so now that it's been created, we're gonna want to add to the underscore quarto.yaml. We are gonna wanna add output dir, and we're gonna say docs backslash. This is because GitHub pages needs to go to docs backslash. And if you want to, just for the demonstration, this is some R code, but um, we can update, hello, my name, is Matt. I built my portfolio with Corto. And then we would link to Corto. And so if we go into the about section, you can give your quick about and a full stack dev. Right. So you get the idea. You would fill out these different documents and then ultimately you would want to render them. Notice how in the file system that there's going to be a docs folder that shows up and this is because that's where we put the output directory. So once this is going, you'll see this. There it is. It's compiling. It's taking the index and the about and then it's compiling it into one website. And so you can see here, it's my local host. But if we go, hello, my name is Matt. And it should go to the about. And the about is, I am a full stack dev. So obviously you'll want to customize more, but you get the gist. Great, now we have all the documents and HTML to make this happen. So go back over to your GitHub, say upload files, and just go to where your project is in our studio and honestly all i do is add them like this there's only 25 files so it shouldn't be that bad and we'll let them all upload and say initial upload of websites okay now they're all on github and before we deploy a GitHub page, just for some context, a GitHub page is a service in GitHub that essentially lets you host static HTML files. All right, so now they're all on GitHub and we can now set up the GitHub page. So go to settings under your repo and go to pages, deploy from branch. We're on the main branch, which is fine, but set it to backslash docs like we did in the output directory. And we'll save. So give it about a minute, then go back over to settings, pages, and you'll see your site is live here. You can visit the site and we'll see, hello, my name is Matt. Go to the about, I'm a full stack dev. And obviously you would do more and you can style all these things a lot, but that's just the general gist of how you set it up. And then another touch to do as ideally you would be showing people off your resume, 
or this portfolio that you fill out with your experience is to update the description here with that's the website and then add some tags so that people know that this is a certain type of project but yeah put the fact that it's free on there so it showed the initiative that you know you wanted to build something for free on github but yeah it's a great way to show your experience it's free it shows that you're tech savvy i think there's a lot of positives of doing this and obviously it doesn't take much time based on the length of this video